Okay, today we're going to be adding and subtracting fractions. First question is 1 and 2 thirds add 2 and 3 quarters. Give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. So first thing we're going to do is make both of these fractions top heavy. Now to do that we're going to do the big number multiplied by the bottom number add on the top, the numerator. So 1 times 3 is 3, add on the 2 is 5 and that's out of 3. Then the second fraction we're going to do 2 times 4 which is 8, add on the 3 which is 11 over 4. So they're just staying out of the same denominators, the bottom numbers aren't changing. And now we've got them as top heavy fractions rather than mixed numbers. And now we can add them. Now I want to make my fractions out of a number that's in the 3 times table and a number that's in the 4 times table. And the first number that's in the 3 and the 4 times table is 12. So we're going to make these out of 12. What have we multiplied the first fraction by? Well, whatever we've multiplied the bottom by, we also need to multiply the top by the same to keep the fractions equivalent. So I've multiplied the bottom by 4, I need to multiply the top by 4, and that becomes 20. Same for the second fraction. What have you multiplied the bottom by? You've multiplied it by 3, so you need to do the top by 3 as well, and that's 33. Now that the denominators, the bottom numbers, are the same, we can just add the tops. So 53 over 12. Then we need to put it back as a mixed number. So how many 12s go into 53? So our 12 times table goes 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. So we can see that 60 is too big. 48 is how many times it's going to fit in. So it fits in four times, sorry. And that is 48. With a remainder of five, because from 48 up to 53, there's five left over out of 12. And again, that denominator there just stays the same. Always check to see if that fraction part can be cancelled down, but it can't. So 4 and 5 twelfths is our final answer. One way I just want to show you that we can do that slightly quicker is something called the timesing TP. So if I just take it at this point again, 5 over 3 add 11 over 4. I can do this times this, which is 12. I can do 4 times 5. Now notice where I'm putting my arrow, and that's 20. 3 times 11 and that's 33, it's an add question, and then that becomes 53 over 12. So it just skips out that slightly um, longer middle bit, and you can just do that times in TP, and that works for adding or subtracting. Great, so the answer is four and five twelfths, and let's move on to subtraction. Second question, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. The only difference is we're gonna subtract. So first, let's make them top heavy. Three times five is 15, add on the two is 17, so 17, over 5 minus and then I've got 1 times 4 which is 4 add on the 3 is 7 over 4 good so both my fractions are now top heavy I'm now going to make them both out of 20 and the reason I've picked 20 is because 20 is the first number in the 5 times table and the 4 times table so looking at those denominators again now what have I multiplied the first fraction by I've multiplied it by 4 so I also need to multiply the top by 4 17 times 4, that's a little bit tricky, so let's do 17 times 4 over here. 4 times 7 is 28, and 4 times 1 is 4, add the 2 is 6. So that's 68 minus, and now this fraction, we've multiplied the bottom by 5, so we're also going to multiply the top by 5, and that is 35, 7 times 5. And now we can go ahead and subtract them, because the denominators are the same, and that is 33 over 20. Still top heavy, so we're going to say how many 20s go into 33 and it fits in one whole time with 13 left over out of 20. Can't simplify that, so that's it, done. And just to show you that timesing TP method again, 17 over 5 minus 7 over 4. 5 times 4 is 20, so that goes on the bottom. 4 times 17, 68. 5 times 7, 35. Put a minus. 33 over 20. So same method, just slightly quicker. 